Dear Mum, this has always been a difficult one for me, but here it is. I really am very sorry. At the time of my crash, I was a very different person. It still amazes me that at the hospital, I thought I was angry at you for the things that I had done. I can't imagine what it was like having to listen to the doctors tell you that your son might lose his leg. And then have me tell you that it's your fault. It was all so horrible, wasn't it? The skin grafts, the pain, the not knowing. And I was so angry at you being so upset, stressed and wound up. And even for talking to me about not wearing leathers. I didn't think I needed rules. I'd always been pretty careful, but it wasn't until later when I became a dad myself that I was able to really understand the stress and upset I caused you. So this letter is to you, to Jack, my beautiful baby boy, and anyone else who thinks they're unbreakable, and that the laws of the road or gravity won't affect them. Looking back on it now, it would be so easy to unpack everything moment by moment and think about the decisions I made and give reasons to them. But really, it all boils down to one thing in the end, which is, I was showing off. Ever since I was a little boy, I've been clever and ignoring people's advice was my way of showing you and Dad that I was clever enough to do things without following the rules. Clever enough to fly around the country lanes like I was in my own video game. Clever enough to not wear protective clothing. Clever enough to crash into a wall. Clever enough to rip all the skin off my leg and nearly lose it in the process. The crash was a big one and it must have been awful for you and the rest of the family. I realise that now. I also understand how much I've missed out on during the course of my life because of it. You know how much I loved surfing, skating and playing football. But I could never do those things again and that is something I will always regret. I'm writing this letter to you so you know how sorry I am. But also to help my son Jack understand and learn the lessons I wish I had. The best piece of advice I can give you is that you don't have to show off. And when you do, it ain't clever. I'd also tell him that if you do get a motorbike, learn how to use it. Wear protective gear and don't ride it into a wall. And most importantly, if you get something wrong, learn from it. Love you, Mum. And again... Sorry.